got a lost 45 I want to play for you uh, what it is I'm going through Bill Boar's Hot 100 playing the bombs the week of October 1st, 1966, along as I count down WSGN's top 10, uh, top 40 uh, countdown the week of September 30th, 1966, because I like playing the Lost 45s and researching the Lost 45s, and this is a bomb, oh man, but if you're a jazz enthusiast, you're going to say, oh yes, with a capital Y. Not a very commercial sounding record at all. This is a laid back, sort of a laid back, somewhat funky jazz piece that you maybe like listen to when you're relaxing or just trying to go to sleep at night have this song playing in the background in a darkened room Richard Groove Holmes at number 100 the week of October 1st 1966 with Secret Love jazz organ player not that well known to the public but in the jazz field he's considered a giant a giant among the jazz organ players like Jimmy McGriff and Jimmy Smith. Speciality, his speciality uh, was soul jazz and hard bop. Recorded for a bunch of record labels over the years. He started recording early 60s. Some of the record labels they recorded for Pacific Jazz, Prestige Records, Groove Merchant, died of prostate cancer 1991. He was 60 years old. He was so bad off, he was recording, he was, well, not recording, but he was performing, sitting in a wheelchair in his last concerts before he passed away. 60 is a young age to die these days, even in 1990, 1991. The song Secret Love, tune I'm going to play for you, made its debut at number 99 on Billboard's Hot 100. It was ignored. It dropped to number 100 the next week. Two weeks. That's it. On Billboard's Hot 100. Richard Groove Holmes. Grooving with some secret love. Brought to you by Mr. DJ.